Hello everybody, today we are going to work through the second grade target 2MBT, which is number in base 10.1. And that target says, I can understand that the three digits in a three digit number represent the amount of hundreds, tens, and ones. So before we dive into this, let's review some base 10 blocks because we really like using these base 10 blocks because they are a concrete way of visualizing and working with these numbers. So we have our place value chart. That's this thing right here. We love this. It helps us stay organized and stay structured. We're learning these more abstract, abstract concepts. So we have our hundreds place which is our biggest value, our tens place, and our ones. So we can build numbers and figure out how much they're worth by using this, this hundreds chart here. So let's look at our blocks. So let's look at the ones block first. So when there's ones in our ones place value, we can have up to nine ones, we can have nine of these ones blocks right here in the ones place. We can have the number zero through nine. That's all that will fit there. Once we get past nine, once we get to 10, we have to move that over to our tens place. So we push those 10 ones together to go to the tens place. And then our tens place, we have our 10 tens block here. I call it a 10. Some people call it a flat or a line or a straight. Um, but that's what that is. And in our tens place, we can have up to nine tens, which would be 90. Once we get to our, once we get 10 tens, we know we learned in first grade that 10 tens will make a hundred. So that's where we get to our hundreds place and our hundreds block looks like that and it has it is essentially 10 tens together so we have our hundreds tens and our ones and we're going to work with these a little bit later so let's answer this question what number is represented what number is represented so we can start um let's start in the hundreds place the hundreds place where my arrow is so we're going to figure out how many hundreds are in this number. So let's count how many hundreds there are. There's 100, 200s, and 300s. So there are 300s there in the hundreds place. So that that those blocks have a value of 300. That's how much they're worth. That's how much um, is represented in the hundreds place. Now we're going to move on to the tens place. So again, we're going to count our tens. One ten, two, tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. And to figure out how much our tens are worth, we're going to skip count by ten. Okay, so there's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. So there's 50 represented there, but there because there are five tens in the tens place. And then for our, our ones, we're just going to count the ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine ones, so we just have nine. Okay? So that number all together, we're going to take, this is the ones place, here's the tens place, there's the hundreds place value, and we're going to put them all together so that number is 359. 359. Next, what does the number 312 represent? So I'm going to use base 10 blocks to help me figure out what this number represents. 
eventually you won't have to use this, but this will be a good practice for now. Okay, so three hundreds. I'm going to draw three hundreds flats so I can see how much it's worth. One ten and then two little ones. And you can start in the ones place or the hundreds place when you're drawing this, but as long as you know what we what that means. We read the number left to right, but sometimes we work with the number in the ones place first. But what, what does the number 312 represent? So let's look how many hundreds does this represent first? Well, how many hundreds are in the hundreds place? We had three. How many tens were in the tens place? There was just one because there was a one right here. And then how many ones were in the ones place? There's the ones place and there were just two. So the number 312 represents three hundreds, one ten, and two ones. So we can just have three hundreds, one ten, and two ones. That's all for this lesson. You'll have some activities to practice when you finish this video.